En una noche perfecta para fútbol en BC Place, con el techo abierto y con cerca de más de 19 mil espectadores, los Whitecaps se enfrentaron al Dinamo de Houston y lograron sacar el empate 2 a 2 con goles de José Aja y de Kendall Waston. Esto fue lo que Robo tuvo que decir acerca de este partido esta noche en la conferencia de prensa. Well, based upon the second half performance especially, I don't think a point is fair justice. I thought we dominated the game. Clear and evident what we missed, which was the finish. We were 30 seconds from losing a, a game which we should have won comfortably, but great character shown by the boys. How do you think Ryan Rowe played? And do you have an update on Ryan? I thought Rowe was excellent. I, I'm, I was pleased to watch him. I remember him when he came here with his previous team and he always kept a minute. So, you know, I've seen him on a daily basis. He's, he's great, Rowe. I thought he was very good with his feet and I think he had no chance with the goals. So, good performance by him. Um, Steph, I'm not sure, maybe a week or two, um, if we're lucky, but it could be three or four weeks, so I'll get the diagnosis next week probably. Straight after half-time, I challenged my players to play quickly, play sharper for the first 5, 10, 15 minutes of the second half, and sometimes we get it and sometimes we don't, and there was a lull in the game, and bringing Effie Juarez on and Jordi Reina, who I thought was as sharp as I've seen him this season, uh, made a big difference, uh, and we kept creating chances. The crowd got involved, which was brilliant for us, and then we got sucker punched, uh, but we never gave in, we kept going last kick of the game, you know, a planned set piece, which we work a lot on. Could have got three goals from set pieces today. So disappointed we got um, one set piece, but proud of the boys in there. I really am, because never giving in, being down twice uh, against the run of play. Um, and I think we deserved a point. I think you saw the emotion from Kendall. And that's the emotion I want him to play with. You know, we see him sometimes get nonsense yellow cards. You know, for emotions, that's not the emotion I want him. The emotion is when he scores a goal and he celebrates and you can see what it means to him because it meant a lot to him and, and obviously the team and just reward. I think when you play Alfonso, you know, Alfonso's in a good run of form at the moment out on the left. It's important, you know, I've played Brett Levi behind him the last two games and Brett's done great. But the plan was always to play him one or two games and bring Marcel back into the team. And having Marcel's experience behind him allows him to do that because Fonzie switches off at certain times. You know, my senior players switch off, so young players are definitely going to do that. So the reason why I like that pairing on the left is because of the experience and the youth. You see when Fonzie opens his legs what he's about and Marcel's there to supplement it. And, He's a great asset of his, his left foot and delivering balls. So the more times he can get up the field and, and deliver them balls into, into the box for the forwards, the better. Was yeah. Anthony and Kai being paired up tonight, was that matchup dependent or is Anthony doing enough to earn minutes that he continues to stay on the field any way he can? I think a, a little bit of both. I wanted to see Kai. Obviously, Kai's been out for a couple of weeks. We know that. So I've been unable to play the both of them. Anthony's played very well in the last two games. You know, the two games prior, we went down to, you know, we lost a couple of men, so it was difficult for him. Um, but seeing the two forwards today, I thought was really, really good. And we, we devised a plan to cause them problems. They're a very good counter-attacking team. They got pace out wide with the two Honduran boys, we know that. And then the centre forward up top, he's, he's got great movement. So we had to be aware of that. Uh, and we went 4-4-2. You know, people talk about formations. I, I'm not a big formation person, um, even though there's little tweaks within games that you can do, whether it's a, I say it every week, don't I, 4-4-1 or 4-4-2, it doesn't matter. You want your good players who are in form on the field. And Anthony and Kai deserve to play. Um, you know, and then Jordi come on and played in a forward role as well, or a number 10 role, as you put it, and, and looked dangerous. But Anthony's done really, really well. I'm not surprised, though, because he had a super preseason as well. Yeah. But do you continue to feel the team is growing and showing things that they need to be showing in order to move forward? I do. I do, but I get to see it every day. You know, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't on the weekends in front of the supporters. And when it, when it doesn't, it's easy to, you know, um, say it's not working. But the amount of work that they put in, it's not, it's over a period of time. It's over a season, you know. You've you got to get away from one game. You're disappointed one game, you're ecstatic the next week. You know, we have another big game in three or four days' time. And football changes very quickly, you know that. 24 hours is a long time. So, you know, we'll take the point. We're disappointed we didn't get three because we deserved three. Uh, but we'll move on. We'll try and win the next game. Uh, Jose? Yeah, great. I'm pleased for him. He said he, wa he wasn't in the team in Orlando. And, you know, um, the reports I got on him and watching him, you know, he's, he's got certain attributes that are very, very good, and we know that. And he, when he plays with confidence, he does things like that. He's a, he's a threat off set pieces, we know that. And him and Kendall have developed a nice relationship. So it was a nice goal. It was, yeah. I didn't really sort of see it. I thought it had gone beyond the goal, like the other 10 chances we had. So please for him. Happy birthday, Jose.